everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I am going to be stuffing my sinking funds for January paycheck number one. Uh, usually I would do this in two separate videos, but it is currently Sunday the 16th. So um, I am a little bit late getting this done. So I figured I would just do it all in one video and so let's go ahead and get started. So what I should have is a total of my sinking funds and the savings challenge. I am going to be a little bit off because I didn't have any ones, so I pulled 25 and I know I've got $10 more than this. I'm going to swap out some bills as I'm stuffing because I wasn't able to get any change from the ATM. So let's go ahead and count this. Here's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95. So $295 uh, in sinking funds and challenges for uh, two weeks, which is not too shabby. Um, all right. Well, I hope you guys are doing really well. I'm finally like, I feel back a hundred percent after being sick, like no more coughing. Um, I haven't had to take any more Mucinex or Dayquil. I tell you that whatever it was kicked my butt. I don't, I had pneumonia back. I don't know. I guess it's probably been three years now. I was smoking at the time and I was like, it kicked me in the you know what for a week and I ended up quitting smoking um that same week and I haven't haven't had a cigarette since but um this is the first time since then that I have been sick so needless to say I was a big baby and Carol Ann's like oh god please I can't wait till you feel better because <laughs> I was so whiny but I am feeling better which is great and before I get started let me just mention that I am going to be doing a Q&A video I put a post on the community tab but any questions you want me to answer please leave them in the comments down below I'll take a combination of questions and videos and the community tab to do a video. Um, this company called Nail Addict actually reached out to me probably because my nails are always so sad. And they asked me if I would do a video of their, um, like a video review. And I thought, well, gosh, I don't know how in the world I would do that because like, I don't know. It's not a budgeting item. So I thought... What better way? They gave me this little mini UV lamp and then um, base coat, top coat, and then a, a remover in two colors. So I thought I would just do a chatty, you know, Q&A while doing my nails. So um, if you have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments. Carol Ann will be super busy with school. If I can get her to, you know, answer a couple of questions, I will. If you have any questions for her, you can leave those uh, down below as well. Um, I may film her separately um, or just ask her and then, you know, tell you guys what the answer is. We'll see. But leave me some questions down below so that when I film that video, I've got some, you know, some questions to answer. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started stuffing the sinking funds. So I'm stuffing these here. And that little wave of light here, that's from my Cricut machine. It's got this kind of band of silver and the light hits it. So I apologize for that light. Um, all right, well, let's, let's get started. I keep saying it, but we're really going to get started now. First sinking fund is Fur Babies. Now, Tink had to go to the vet this last week. I spent $40, and I am going to be adding $50 to this today. So I'm going to actually add $60. So $20, $40, and that's the wrong direction. It's $20, $40, $60, and then I'm going to take the $10. So I'm kind of going to make change as I'm going here. So adding 50, I should have 602. Um, what is today? I said today, Sunday the 16th. And then deposit 
plus 50 is uh, 302, or no, 302. Dead gummit, 602. Oh well. So let's count this. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, one and two. Next up is Christmas. And as of the last stuffing, Christmas had 50, and I am going to be adding 50 today. And I have definitely decided that I'm sticking with my, my budget. I'm not overspending this year. Um, I am setting expectations early. Um, I definitely went overboard. I'm going to take these two tens and swap them for a 20. I went overboard this year for sure. Here's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I spent more money than I had intended and that was kind of unsettling for me. So definitely am sticking to the Christmas budget this year. Okay, next are my taxes, tags, maintenance, all the things for my Kia Soul, I'm adding 60 this week. And I had 390 as of the last stuffing. So adding 60 would give me 450. And I, I need an oil change for my car. Um, and I like my daughter's car, my car has high mileage. And so um, most definitely my oil change will be expensive. I don't think I would spend 150 because I can, I can go to AutoZone or, you know, somewhere like that and get the air filter for the cabin and for the car. I know how to swap that out myself. So when I go, I only get the oil change, but I do all synthetic and it's high mileage. So, um, I don't know that it'll, it won't be that much, but it will be probably pretty expensive. So here's 20, 40, 60 that we're going to add. So here is 1, 2, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, and 50. I do want to um, eventually add car replacement um, into the mix. Um, at some point, my Kia will die, and I want to have enough money saved to buy a new one. Next is P.O. Box, and P.O. Box is going to get 10 this week. As of the last stuffing, I had 80, so I'm actually going to swap this 10 out and grab a 20 instead. So... That will give me 90. Okay, let's count this. So 50, 70, 90. 50 is always throw me off every single time. <laughs> Next is Amazon. This is for my Amazon Prime membership. Had 105 as of the last stuffing. I am going to be adding 10 to this today. So that will be a total of 115. Okay, so here is... 115. Then I have clothes and beauty. Had $50 as of the last stuffing because Carol Ann did buy a jacket. Um, on Amazon, I gave her $50 in cash um, to pay for that. So it left me with 50 and I am adding 10 today. So that gives me 60. Uh, 
I am, I'm starting to, well, I've gone through all of my clothes and I have a huge, huge bag to go to Goodwill. So anything that didn't fit, I'm not saving the, I hope to get skinny again jeans. It's too depressing. So um, I decided that I was going to donate everything because it was just taking up space. And I flipped all of my hangers around backwards. And right now it's been two weeks since I've done laundry and I can go another week without doing laundry. If that tells you how many clothes I have, like I have way, way too much. And so, um, I'm going to see what I really wear and, um, you know, hopefully, um, what am I doing here? Hopefully I'll lose some weight, but I don't want to hang on to things that are too small for me, um, because it just takes up way too much room. So here's 60. So with that said, I mean, I do hope to lose some weight. I've been seeing, um, Oh, who was it? it was, I know D versus Dead is doing it. And I think uh, Gina are in budgets. They're doing the way to save um, challenge. So they're, it's kind of like a savings challenge for weight loss. And I'm thinking about doing it. I was watching D's video earlier this morning and girl, we're the same weight. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, how, I, like, pre-coronavirus, like when we were still in the office, I was doing really well. Like my eating was good. I was staying on track. I was walking at work and I was down to about 150 pounds. So a really healthy weight for me because I'm about five foot six, but um, I gained back everything that I had lost plus some. This is the heaviest I've ever been in my entire life even heavier than when I was pregnant with twins. So definitely need um, to get back on, um, you know, eating healthier and uh, being kinder to myself and my body. I did notice, I haven't read yet uh, the questions that were on the community tab, but I did see one pop up in my on my phone notifications that said, this is nutrition based. And I was like, oh boy. <laughs> So, um, I know, I know we eat crap. I know it. <laughs> it's a lot of processed food and it's terrible. And my waistline shows it. And yes, I know I need to do better. So, okay. Well, medical, medical expenses are always higher when you're heavier. That is for sure. I did have $70 as of the last stuffing. I'm adding 10 to this today. So I am going to get back, um, you know, back to what I know. It's hard when you live with another person that doesn't, um, I don't know. I don't know what the right word is to say, but my daughter doesn't like a lot of the foods that I like. Like I could eat beans and rice every day and, um, and she just doesn't, she likes different foods and I've been kind of eating more of what she likes and in the process my waistline has definitely definitely suffered but she's you know she's a kid she likes what she likes and she likes quick and easy so I'm going to swap a 10 for a 20. Okay so I should have uh let's see should have 80 is that right 70 80 I did something wrong there oh I guess I had already gotten the 10, so 50, 70, 80. Um, yeah, so I know, I know when I do my grocery hauls, it's a bunch of crap, but um, we're going to do better. That's all I can do. You know, I'm not perfect. I am human. You know, you think when you watch somebody on YouTube that they, like, maybe have it all together. I, I swear to you, I have, do not have it all together. And I'm just like another human on the planet that is, you know, trying to get through life. And I'm just sharing my budget journey with you guys and my grocery hauls. And I guess that kind of opens me up to, you know, some criticism. And, you know, I get it. But just know that I'm human and, um, you know, I'm doing the best I can. And all I can do is do better. So anyway, car insurance. 
I had $345 as of the last stuffing, and I'm adding $40 today. Yeah, weight loss has been, gosh, ever since I turned, when was it? I mean, I was like 115 pounds, like most of my, almost except for being pregnant all my adult life. And it wasn't until I hit my 40s that I started to gain weight. And I'll never forget this gal that I worked with when I was like, in my early 20s, she would watch me. Little Caesars used to have this bucket called spaghetti spaghetti, and I would eat the whole damn thing. And I ne I will never forget, she said, um, I can't wait until you're in your 40s because, you know, everything that you're eating is going to be like stuck to your butt. And I was like, not me. No, never. I'm never gaining weight. And sure enough, I got to my 40s and that metabolism slowed down and oh my gosh, it has been, it's been a struggle and I've never struggled with my weight before. And so I think since I've never struggled with my weight, it's, it's hit me pretty hard. It's been really, really, really hard on me. Okay, I should have 385 here. So 1, 2, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 5. Oh, this is a long video. <laughs> well, hopefully me chatting will like prompt some more questions for the Q&A. All right, last is gifts and gifts is going to get 20. And I realized that I forgot to text my nephew on his birthday. Oh my gosh, I am terrible. I need to do that. And so we're adding 20, so 10 to 5s. And I decided not to get him a gift. He's uh, a little bit older than my kids, and I think I need to um, leave the gifting for the little kids. Um, anyway, here is 20 for gifts, and this is for Mother's Day, Father's Day, and birthdays. He's married, so I think I'm just going to... Uh, save gifting for parents, my kiddos, and um, the grandbabies, and then my nieces and nephews that are still, you know, at home and not married. All right, I should have 160 here. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 55, and 60. And then I should have 25 left to stuff um, another envelope in the 100 envelope challenge. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Clearly I've, oh yeah, because that 10, the $10. So I'm going to put this back in my cash envelope um, pile here. So let's see what, uh, this is my pile of envelopes that I haven't, haven't stuffed yet. And then let's see here are the, the ones that have not now I already did 25 so I think I think I'm going to stuff I think I'm going to put 25 in the 24 envelope to go ahead and get it out of the way because I definitely I mean, I have some larger envelopes too, and that's fine. And I know a couple people had said, well, you know, why don't you just, you know, add some money to the larger envelopes? And um, I just want to, I just want to knock some of these out because somebody suggested that um, before taxes that I should, before, you know, taxes are due, that I... Um, take whatever money is in these envelopes so far and put it towards my IRA. And I thought that was a really good idea for 2021 because I guess you can still contribute to last year. So I think I'm going to do that. And then I'll restart the 100 envelope challenge in April. And that guarantee, I will get done with it by the end of the year. And then, um, I had put my why as land because 
you know, I do want to purchase some land at some point, and I thought, you know, I could use the, um, the money in this envelope to do that, but I like the idea of retirement focus better because right now I have a I have a balance of $600 or I have $600 in my Roth IRA. And so that is great, but to put this money um, towards the IRA is an even better idea. So that is everything for me, guys. Again, these were my sinking funds for January paycheck number one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. And before you leave, don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have a question for the Q&A. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.